Hi, my name is Charles Kern, owner of Natural Creations, and welcome to Natural Creations. I've been doing this for 20 years, since 1991. I've hand sculpted indoor fountains for people. So what I've done along the way is basically develop really detailed techniques on how to sculpt the path of the water. And I have fountains all around me here. You know, these are some of the many I have in my gallery. And basically what they do is I, I've learned the techniques of sculpting the path of the water so it will not splash. Guaranteed, not one of my fountains will splash. Also, the sound quality of each and every one of these fountains, I fine tune it. I listen to it as I'm sculpting the path. And as I sculpt the path, I make sure that it doesn't sound like a bottle pouring. It actually sounds like a little brook. Self-watering my plants. I've actually created techniques. We use pumice here. The pumice comes from the high Sierras of Northern California. And basically, I've figured out that it has a nice wicking capability. So I've developed techniques on how not to get too much water in and just enough. Each and every waterfall in here is unique. That's what makes it so special in natural creations. Every piece, whether it's a cascading fountain, it can be a cavern fountain, it can be a cup to cup, it can be live plants, silk trees, underwater lakes, but all of the fountains themselves are unique. That's what's special here. So in this uniqueness, each rock is also unique before I sculpt it. So that helps me to figure out the pattern a little bit. I actually see things in the rock, the pattern in the water, whether I'm sculpting a, a castle into it, a dragon, or just waterfalls. This is where I start with. They're all different, all unique. Each one will yield a different waterfall. I visualize into the rock myself and do it. So, all different kinds of fountains. We have live plant fountains, as I said before. We have silk tree fountains. We have mini fish pond fountains. Those are very cool. They're self-vacuuming fish bowls. So as the water runs, this is pumice. It's a natural biological filter system. So as it runs, it keeps the water nice and clear. It doesn't get slimy. And the way I do my pump configuration, it actually vacuums the bottom of the bowl. So once every three months, you do a water change. Fish is happy. Fish is happy, lives long, unstressed, very cool. Now, just to let you know, I have a fish at home. His name's Oscar. He's 17 years old. I invented this in 1994. 17 years. 17 years since April. He's still happy, living long life. Now to show you a little bit of this uniqueness, I am going to take you into my sculpting room. Basically to show you different rocks, a little bit of a process, things like that, just to how to get from a rock to a fountain. So now we've made it to the workshop, Natural Creations. I'm going to show you basically how I do things. So, first off, here's the rock. We have that, just picked it out of our litter of rocks outside, and we're going to flat bottom it. Here's flat bottom, sits nice and sturdy on the stump, and ready to sculpt. Now this is only for basically this little video that I'm doing now, but I go through all kinds of safety precautions, uh, what to do, what not to do. So anyway, I'm basically going to cut through, instead of explaining everything, I'm just going to show you real quick what I do. So now the planter's done. Now I'm going to do where the water source is.
Okay, done. Now we're going to take it over to the wet table and test it out. Okay, so here's the finished fountain. Come on in, check it out. All detailed out. Running great. Sounds great. Doesn't splash. Real cool. Live plan go here. Waterfall, waterfall, back out. Expert job. Cool. We're going back to the dishing room now. Follow me. Okay. We're back in the dishing room. Here's the fountain. Pumps attached. Get it down, nestled into this bowl. Okay, add the plant now. Okay now, here it is, the finished product. That didn't take too long, now did it? Actually, it's great with video, so you don't see all the in-between stuff. But anyway, self-watering live plants, doesn't splash. Sounds really cool. This just goes to show you, I hand sculpt everything here. This is what I do, and this is also what I show in the class. So this would actually be possible in the class. Actually, even better than this. So anyway, now you see it, come on down, call us, 610-933-6919, or visit our website, www.naturalcreations.com. And how about those down classes? Don't forget them, hosting and here, all right? Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. This is a 14 by 17 oval, the one that we just sculpted. Notice how nicely detailed, has a nice hidden source where the waterfall comes out into a little pond and comes zigzagging back into a nice cascade natural looking boulder scene, all guaranteed not to splash.